Hello everyone, this is Brian from Brightech.co.uk. This is another tutorial requested by Ian from the FoundryTreeForum.com about levels and curves and how to use them to make your photos pop. So here we have the photograph supplied by the FoundryTreeForum.com from one of the members. As you can see it looks pretty washed out. No no blacks, no whites and greys, it looks pretty much. So we're going to go ahead and go to image, adjustments, levels, and as you can see there's no black in there, the peak. So we're going to bring that up to there, I'm going to bring that along to there, like so. And that's the result we've got before and after. That's doing it manually, so let's see what it looks like if we do it with the auto. And we're just going to push auto, and that's the auto. And you can choose which one you like best, but that's up to you. So we're going to click OK, and I'm going to go Image Adjustments Curves. Put two dots in there, like so. And these are the highlights and lowlights, as you can see. Highlights, and then we're going to drop the lowlights down. And this is a common way of putting in your highlights and lowlights that you're looking for in your picture. So you can use the auto on that as well. So that's that one done. I'm going to have a look at another photo. Something a bit more different. And this one's an original state, the way it was when it first um, first got it. So it's actually from the familytreeforum.com, one of the members there. And uh, if we open up the image adjustments levels and then you can see there's no black so I'm going to pull the black up and there's no white and we're going to pull the white up and you can probably stop there well, I'd like to sometimes come to the beginning of the peak and then we've got the mid tones in the middle and that's the before and there's the after that's doing it manually so I'm going to cancel that and see what it looks like through auto so image adjustments, levels, and we're going to click auto. As in this case, auto looks like it's done a better job, so I would select auto. So, as I said, it's best to try both. Sometimes auto is better than normal. So, I'm going to click OK on that. And then image adjustments, curves. And then put the two dots in. You can put more than two dots in if you will wish. So, as you can see, I'm going to click OK on there. A little cute little face. And um, that's that one. And then one more. Come that one. And we've done that one. It's just this one. And this was also supplied by the family treeforum.com, one of the members. And what we're going to do is go to image mode, oh sorry, image adjustments levels, and pull this up manually this way. And you can play around with the tones, and that's what it looks like. Like that wall image adjustments levels and you can click auto like so and that takes all the brown out and makes it black and white as well if you don't want to bring that palette up you can also go image adjustments auto levels which is up the top I'll just drag the camera up so you can see I don't think I can actually. 
no I can't yes I can so image adjustments and you've got auto levels auto contrast auto color no auto curves you have to open the curves palette up like so and then you will get the chance to do auto curves why that's not there I don't know but there you go so let's pull this back down so this helps you out a little bit Ian and you give it a go it's pretty much self explanatory really but that's the end of this tutorial bye for now